Hey guys, it's Everything Cards, and if you're looking to up your game at Poker Nights or learn the basic framework for nearly all false shuffles, you're in the right place because today I'm going to teach you the tabled riffle shuffle. There are many different variations on this, but my variation that I kind of taught myself looks a little bit something like this, okay? I'm sure many of you have seen shuffles where they hold it more towards the top, but I prefer to hold it towards the end, and I'll show you why later. Before we start, it's very important that you have a cushiony surface that has some give so you can actually pick up the deck. On a table, it's very difficult to just pick up a, car, a deck of cards and get every card. Um, but with this cushion, it's nice. This is a close-up mat, but these are a little bit expensive. And a good alternative would just be a mouse pad. I'm sure a lot of you already have one of those lying around, probably while you even watch this video, possibly. And that's also a good thing because whenever you're on the computer and you have a mouse pad around, you can be practicing this kind of without thinking. Uh, so let's get right on into it. I'm going to teach the grip really quick. And again, this is my variation. I never really watched a video. I kind of just watched a lot of different uh, shuffles out there. And I kind of developed my own way. This is one of those things that's very hard to teach. But it is one of those things also that you just need to practice a lot in order to get it down. So the basic... Uh, kind of position that I use is something like this. It's just mirrored with your right hand, so I'll just use my left for demonstration purposes. I use my thumb and my middle finger kind of in at an angle, almost up, straight up and down, and grab the very end of the uh, deck like so. Okay? And you can see my pointer finger is already curled. That's just muscle memory because you're going to curl in your pointer finger and it's going to rest uh, on top of the cards, your fingernail is going to rest right on the top, right there. Okay, Your ring finger, all it has to do is sit right on the edge of the deck and keep those cards in place. You don't want cards um, to be uneven. Okay, So the ring finger is just there to, to keep them in line, and the pinky is just along for the ride. Uh, it doesn't really do anything. So, if you mirror that with your right hand, it looks something like this. Okay. So you just grab it like like so, curl in your pointer fingers, and put your ring fingers on the corner to keep it in line. Okay? Very simple. I'm sure all of you can do that. Next, you're going to break the cards up in half. Just using your thumb, you can kind of pick up about a half a of a deck. And I prefer to pull the top off with my right, but uh, you can do whatever's most comfortable. So you just pull your hands apart and that'll split the deck in half, okay? Get back in that position. And first, before you even just try and shuffle them, I would suggest just practicing this motion, okay? This is just a lot faster to practice, so you don't have to uh, get the cards all ready after each time. You can go again and again just practicing this motion. You should have enough control to throw one card down at a time. Okay. Now, one thing that makes this a little bit easier is if you kind of pivot, this is hard to explain, your thumb is on the bottom, and if you pull the top of your hands back, it kind of bevels the cards towards you. It'll make the cards slide a little bit that way, if that makes any sense at all. And this will just help you grip the cards better. If they're out like this, you let go of one card and you're going to let the whole deck go. But if they're like this, beveled back towards you, you're going to have a little bit more control. That's a little bit hard to explain, but it's kind of just a feeling thing. If you pull it back a little bit, you have a little more control. Okay? So basically, all you're going to do is push down with your pointer fingers, keep your ring fingers on the ground, and pull up with your thumbs. So then, uh, the top back corners, back here, are pretty much the only things that are contacting the ground. Every every other part of the deck is a little bit off the ground, like so. Okay? And again, just practice this. If you can have the control to do one or two cards at a time, you're ready to move on. So again, get in this grip, split the deck, square it up like this, and what you're going to be shuffling are the back corners right here. So you angle it a little bit like so, and then you can push them together as you pull them up and then just let the cards slowly go with your thumb and the motion with your thumb is a little bit self-explanatory but I'll go over it a little bit more your thumb is kind of rotating 
in a kind of just in a circular motion. It's it's almost like you're moving your hand like this, but just your thumb. So it your thumb kind of moves like that, if that makes sense. It's again, this is a very difficult thing to teach exactly the way I do it. It's kind of one of those things you have to practice and see what works best for you. This is simply a framework. Okay, so again, I'll go over one more time. You get this position, split the deck, push down with your pointer fingers and pull up with your thumbs so that the uh, top corners are the only thing contacting the mat. Push them together and then let them slowly go as you move your thumbs back. Once you're here, this is when your ring finger, uh, your ring fingers help a lot is just squaring it up. So you stay in this position and you just push them together. And to square them up perfectly, you may have seen me do this almost every time, you just move your thumbs back here and your pointer fingers here and you pinch them together. And that forces the cards together. Like so. Okay? This is this looks like a very simple thing to do, but I guarantee you, if you ask any random person, they're probably not gonna be able to do it. Also, it does look simple, but it is very satisfying and actually quite fun just to even watch. Um, so it is really fun once you get it down. And yeah. This is basically how the Vegas uh, dealers shuffle. I guess their hands are more towards the corners like so, but it's kind of, you kind of look like a pro, which is always fun. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any more questions, leave them down in the comments, and I'll see you next time.